Hello Pisces, I'm going to be doing a special reading for you today. It'll be a general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. Check out your other placements and just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm reading for a lot of people, so maybe not every message will be for you specifically. All right, Pisces, let's get into this for Pisces spirit. <clears throat> For Pisces, please. What are the energies for Pisces? What are the energies for Pisces? In love. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. For Pisces. Okay. Okay, we got rest and rejuvenation. Anxiety, well, I can see why you would need rest and rejuvenation. Anxiety, interesting. Storm warning. So storm warning to me, um, it reminds me of the tower. Something that comes along to pretty much destroy something. Knock it to the ground. <clears throat> Now with anxiety here, it's almost like this is an expected tower. Something that you are worried will happen or you are worried will come to, to affect you. And so it's like you need, this is reminding me of the four of swords. Like you need to heal from whatever this is or take it easy. Let's see. Using the Revelations Tarot today for Pisces. All right, let's see. Today's spread will be a little bit different. I'm going to be pulling eight cards first. The Empress. Beautiful. Great way to start. I'm going to be putting eight cards first, and then I will clarify with one more card on each of these, and that'll be all the clarifying that I'll do in this video. All right, let's see, Pisces. The Emperor Reverse. So we have a pair on the board so far. Empress and Emperor, one's upright, one's reverse, which tells me if you are in a connection, you're not seeing eye to eye. If you're involved with someone or thinking about someone who's in a connection, they're not seeing eye to eye. Something, there's a disconnect there between them. Emperor energy here is Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. And Taurus, Libra for Empress. Let's see, what else for Pisces? We need to know. Okay, we got Death, Scorpio energy here. Endings, new beginnings, transformation, changes. Let's see. Major Arcana so far, which tells me major energy shifts for you. Um, the next six months, Pisces. Seven of Swords reversed. I love this deck because it has artwork for the reversals as well as for the upright. We can see that. Seven of Swords reversed. Someone got caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Tale as old as time. Okay. Pisces energies, please. I think whatever whatever was found out, revealed, whatever you caught someone doing, it probably brought about an ending here. It brought about a disconnect between a partnership. Temperance, more major arcana. Sign of Sagittarius with temperance. Something is being brought together. Something is coming together in harmony. Uh, there is patience here. Someone's being patient and waiting. Trying to make something work. I think it's this Empress. Let's see. What else for Pisces? Ace of Wands. Great. New beginnings. So an ending and a new beginning. Common theme in a lot of these um, spreads that I'm doing. Three of Cups reversed. Could be some sort of third party interference. And then we have a Queen of Pentacles. Well, there they are. 
could be this queen of pentacles or let me bring this down um or it could be um that this empress is ready to almost like this empress started manifesting something and now they're paying you know getting the rewards bottom of the deck here have the five of cups reversed so someone here wants to overcome difficulties or overcome heal the past possibly regain what they've lost With the five of cups i feel like i'm still not showing how about i do this move all these over a little bit more um so yeah so what i see here is a, a partnership that's in a dis is a there's a disconnect because someone here was deceptive or just not honest about their intentions about their role in a situation and it's caused an ending there's been an ending here, possibly an ending to a third party interference, which could be another partner. It could be distance, finances, family members, friends. It could be any of those things um, that's interfering in a connection. But whatever interfered in it, it's being put to an end or it has ended something. We'll see when I get the second set of cards here. To save some time, I'm just going to pull the clarifiers one right after the other. Spirit, give me some clarifiers for Pisces regarding this situation they're dealing with. Messages for Pisces in love. Okay, I'll stop there. Wow, Ace of Pentacles with the Empress. So definitely manifesting something great, growing something here. The Empress, everything she touches turns into gold. She is creative. She gives birth to new ideas all the time. She is um, the epitome of love and beauty and just growth. So the fact that this is with an opportunity, this is like a huge chance here for you, Pisces. Now with the Emperor, I have the Six of Pentacles reversed. So this Emperor here, when the Emperor is reversed, they are, they have no control over a situation anymore. They're feeling powerless. They've lost confidence. They don't handle their emotions well. Um, and so it might be because there's something here that's off balance. Um, someone here is giving more than the other. I think this emperor, they're not giving as much as they should have been giving. And so they lost something. They lost something and the emperors gained something. Nine of swords with this death card. That's that anxiety card. Worry, anxiety, stress, guilt. You're dealing with something very difficult here and whatever you're dealing with it's gonna bring it's like someone is stressed or anxious about an ending feeling guilty about an ending not sleeping well about an ending five of wands reverse with the seven of swords reverse lots of drama here this could have been a very bad fight that occurred because of what was caught what someone was caught doing or it's almost like a lot of people jumped in as well. I feel like this was like a climax, like like things just spiraled out of control and then there was like a big powwow. That's how I'm picturing this. What about temperance? The chariot, beautiful. Cancer energy with the chariot moving forward moving period traveling period here someone's ready for victory for success and i love that this is right under the empress and the ace of pentacles so it's almost like whatever's manifested here whatever opportunity someone gets whatever opportunity this empress gets that they've been waiting for they're going to run with it it's going to be like their golden ticket Six of Swords reverse with the Ace of Wands. Someone here could be returning that left or um, someone's delayed from leaving a situation here and having their Ace of Wands. Um, I What I'm seeing here is that this Emperor reverse does not want 
someone to have a new beginning or might be delaying a new beginning for someone on purpose. Seven of Pentacles, time. I just heard time. So it's like oh, either a lot of time has passed. There's been a lot invested in this. Um, maybe someone's having doubts, uh, doubting everything that they thought they knew. Uh, doubting their investment, doubting the time and effort they put into something because now they're wondering if it's ever going to pay off for them or if it was the wrong investment. This is with the Three of Cups reversed. So I just get this. I'm, I'm just picking up this energy, especially with the artwork here. It's like someone saying like, really? After all this time, you're going to do this or... You know, we've spent so much time together and you're going to pull this or something like that is the energy that I'm picking up here. Ace of Cups. Wow. Pisces, this is new love. Not only an opportunity for long-term investment and growth and commitment, but also new love with a Queen of Pentacles energy, or this is you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with the Queen of Pentacles. But if that's not the sign that you are interested in, or that's not the sign that you're connecting with in some way, um, that doesn't mean anything. It's just one of the meanings of this card. Queen of Pentacles is very similar to the Empress in that she is stable, secure in a commitment. She is a generous family person, um, very giving, level-headed, grounded energy. You could be interested in someone like this or someone views you in this way and wants to offer you a cup. I have three aces here and they're all upright. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. So for you Pisces, I see new beginnings everywhere. but something's going to end. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Just like, just when I said something's going to end, there's the Ten of Swords at the bottom. Very interesting energy. Now this opportunity here with this Empress, um, this could be anything with this Empress, this opportunity. Could be financial opportunity, could be a new job, could be someone offering you commitment, someone offering you uh, something material, something substantial. This could be something that you have grown or created yourself, this opportunity, because the Empress does work that way. She manifests and is able to create and give birth to her idea. So it's like she is her own powerhouse. I feel like this is something you've been waiting for, something you've taken the time trying to, to come together. You've, you've, you've taken the time to nurture something and you're gonna be rewarded. And this reward is gonna be, I mean, you're gonna have all of, you're going to be successful. There's no doubt about it. And it looks like you're going to be successful at more than one thing here. This emperor reverse, they tend to be difficult people to deal with. This could be anybody. This could be a boss, a lover, a partner, um, ex, family member, whoever. It could be anybody, but they, uh, they're difficult to deal with. They're not used to losing control. They're not used to losing. They're not used to feeling powerless. They're not used to things being out of order, off balance. They're not used to that. So it's almost like whatever storm happens here, because I do sense something big is going to happen here, whether it's for you, Pisces, or the person you're interested in or connecting with at this time, they might be going through this. Um, Whatever happens here, it's going to, one person is going to benefit and the other one is going to be taken off their throne or lose their power. 
And it's not like it's going to be easy because I have the Nine of Swords here and the Ten of Swords. These are very difficult endings. This is, I mean, look at this, this photo here with the Nine of Swords. It's almost like swords are about to attack this person. Everybody has their sword up. So I feel like this is this is something where you're facing a lot of heat or dealing with with a difficult situation. Um, but I feel like time is important here. It's almost like so much time has passed or this has gone on for so long or you've been dealing with this even even though you've invested it and given yourself to someone. It's like you're not going to stick around for it. You're not going to let this continue. Something has to change. And it could be almost like one sword too many, you know, like it could just be too much. Now with this rest and rejuvenation card right after anxiety, I feel like this storm is going to come. You're going to feel very anxious about it, but then it's almost like a relief. Like you can breathe again. Like you don't have this weight on your shoulders anymore. You can start to heal, focus on yourself, get back to, to centering yourself, to grounding yourself. Let me move this down a little bit. And then um, here with the Emperor reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed, um, I also am picking up that at one point, this Emperor had all of the Pentacles in his hand and wasn't really giving. And now that has turned, like the table has turned. And so now this emperor is wanting to delay someone having a new beginning or doesn't want someone to return or go back to wherever they were or wherever they want to go to. So be careful with this emperor energy. This could be part of the reason why Pisces you're dealing with anxiety, stress, and it's such, such a difficult ending is probably because someone's going to make it difficult for you, which honestly is, that was my dog, by the way, which honestly is kind of ironic because I have a sense or a feeling that this emperor reverse was the one that had a third party situation or energy here. It's like they, they're the ones that brought this on themselves. So why are they upset? That's the energy I'm picking up. Now this three of cups reverse, like I said, it could be any sort of interference here. It could be this queen of pentacles because then I would have two queens and well, I have the queen of queens, but she's still a queen, two queens and an emperor. So in my mind, I'm thinking three people, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It's just a possibility for some of you that this is the third party. So you could have someone in mind, Pisces, that you want to return to and they're interfering in your connection because you've lost possibly feelings for someone or thinking about this other person. Um, or it could be the other way around. This emperor has a third party. But anyway, there's some sort of interference here that it's like, this is going to be the straw that broke the camel's back. This is going to be where you draw the line right here. The line is drawn. <laughs> That's what I see. And then whatever happens here, it's almost like you know what I'm picking up, Pisces? It's almost like you you had a an idea, you had a theory in your mind, um, suspicions, and you were doubting your your suspicions, doubting yourself, uh, thinking maybe it was all in your head, and then those suspicions are proven correct with the Seven of Swords reverse. I feel like there's going to be a huge fight here or um, some sort of big argument or um, a clash. And I think it's going to be with either multiple people or it's just going to be several fights because you found someone out, you caught someone doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Uh, something was revealed, 
uh, deception was brought to light, whatever it was, it brought um, a big powwow here. And I think these two are connected. I think this will happen first and then the ending or they're happening at the same time. It's like you're finding out more and more things as this ending. When you start this ending, you're, you're going to be finding more and more things until it's finally over. Now we're ending here with an Ace of Cups. This is new love, self-love, emotional fulfillment to the extreme. This is you being overcome with happiness, with just feeling full. And not only are you going to have new love or this feeling of contentment and happiness, but you're also going to have stability or you're going to be with someone that is stable and grounded. So it's like you're going to have the best of both worlds here. And all I see you doing, Pisces, is winning at everything. You know, you have opportunity, you have manifestation, creation, you have love. You have everything that you've wanted um, after this ending. You know, this ending is necessary for these things to take place. And the Empress knows their value. They have self-worth. They have all of the resources they could possibly need to make things happen. They know that if they put their mind to something, it's going to happen. And so I feel like if someone here, if you Pisces or the person you're dealing with, if you come into this Empress energy, there is only victory ahead for you. And the Empress is no problem letting go what doesn't serve them because they know what's best for them. They know that they're above this. You know, you have to come into that energy. I feel like you're going to end with more than you imagined. Like not only would you have made things happen for yourself, not only would you have, you know, com uh, opportunity, financial security and manifesting something you're passionate about or 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 creating something that has potential, but you're also going to have love. So this is a very beautiful reading. And then over here at the heart of this reading, we have the Ten of Swords with the Five of Cups reverse, which tells me someone is going to be leaving this behind. This, this energy here of the Five of Cups of sadness, disappointment, thinking about the past and what didn't work out, um, crying over spilled milk. Uh, that needs to end and it will. Ten of Swords is like, you can only go up from here. You've reached the very bottom of the bottom and it's like, it's already happened. Now we need to move forward and we need to move forward, leaving the, this behind, you know, that's how I see this. Thank you so much for watching this video, Pisces. I hope it resonated with most of you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you. Um, if this didn't resonate, check out your other placements, your moon, your rising and your Venus signs. Sometimes those can resonate a lot more than your sun sign. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.